Well, my circular saw didn't quite have the power to get this job done, so we had to go rent a concrete saw, and that should speed the process up. Hi, this is Rich. I'm working with my brother Dave. We've got these stairs. We're going to put pavers over them, and the guy that put the stairs in, he did a nice job all the way up to right here, and then something happened. I don't know. We think that like his calculations went wrong, and he's just like, ah, it's good enough. So. Anyway, the issue is that the risers on all these stairs going down are seven inches and it's it's real nice and easy to walk up them. But when we get to these last two stairs, these are both go up to nine inches and it's really a abrupt change as you're especially as you're coming up the stairs. So and we're going to lower the height of all these three so that it'll be a real nice, uh, easy climb up these stairs. So uh, what we need to do is we've got to take at least two inches off of this stair and we have rented a concrete saw. This is where we've gotten to so far. We're going to cut it back maybe back to here and we're going to show you how we use the concrete saw. All right, this is the monster blade that this baby uses and it's a diamond tip blade which allows it to cut concrete. There's really two choices you have. Um, we bought this blade ourselves because at the tool rental place, they're going to charge you by how much of this blade you wear wears down. And so we do enough jobs where to us it's worth it just to buy the blade so we're not getting an extra charge every time we rent this tool. But if you're just doing a small job or you only have one job to do, I mean you could just go with their blade from the tool center and pay a little bit extra when you turn it in. So you can see that we put some blue tape on here. The reason for that is we're trying to make two inch cuts in our stairs and we don't want to go any deeper than that. So it's kind of hard to see when, because the issue is you got to wear safety glasses. And so you got all the sweat running down your face into your eyes and I wear contacts so that makes it even more fun. And you have to look through a cloud of dust and try to see where all this blue tape is. And what I'm trying to do is each time I make a cut, I'm, I'm stopping pushing down on the blade when it gets somewhere near this tape level. So now we're going to put this blade on the saw. And it just goes in there and just make sure that it's sitting in there properly. It's got two little prongs to make sure that you seat it properly. This has to be on perfectly, otherwise the blade's gonna wobble while you're trying to use it and that's no fun. Okay. So that's on there tight. This model has this connection for a garden hose and while you're cutting you could have the water turned on so that that would reduce the amount of dust because this thing kicks up a crazy cloud of dust. But we are going to be gluing down some pavers so we don't want a bunch of extra water in our work area, so we're not gonna use that. Here's a little primer right here. We're gonna hit that like three or four times. And then this is the choke. So we're gonna put that all the way to the left. There's a, a lever underneath and a lever on top. We'll press them both together. And we're gonna flip this switch to the start position. Okay. And now that's all ready to roll. When you're doing this job, you have to wear goggles or you're gonna go blind. Also, it would be a good idea to have some ear protection. It's also imperative to have a respirator. This is, uh, kicks out a toxic dust cloud. So once all this on, you kind of have sensory deprivation, but you need all, all the different parts of it. We're just gonna pull on the starter cord and hopefully it'll start up.
Okay, as you can see, that made a nice straight cut. It's down about two inches, and that's gonna enable us to just take a hammer and knock all this concrete off of here. So that's all there is to it. Um, the technical term for this, I'm calling it a concrete saw because that's our application, but it's really called a cutoff saw. So the saw itself is, is pretty heavy. It seems kind of intimidating at first, but actually its weight is a real benefit because the saw does all the work. All you gotta do is hold it over whatever you're cutting and the weight of the saw will cut right into the concrete. So that's all there is to it. You could do it yourself. It just, you know, it just takes a little getting used to, but after a couple of cuts, you'll, you'll totally understand the whole thing. So hope this helps. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. We've got a, a lot of videos in the works. So thanks much for viewing.